Okay, so this is my real estate life vlog. And I'm gonna change things up a little bit. Previously, I had intermixed in a lot of uh, family stuff and in with, you know, filling you in, documenting on what I'm doing real estate wise, but I think it got over proportioned with more family stuff than real estate stuff. And I still wanna do that, but I'm gonna call that my life vlog. And then I'm going to do just strictly real estate, maybe a few little touches of things here and there that don't pertain, but main, just real estate. I want to document my uh, process, my career, especially right now, the times that we are going through, um, the things that are happening in our market, um, what we're doing business-wise, what I'm doing business-wise is, it's very, uh, really exciting. Um, for people that are directly impacted, and I'm referring to you know Foxconn coming into our area, it's not exciting for them. And I do have empathy as well, and I'm doing everything that I can to, to help them. Um, but as far as the real estate and new home building go, there's obviously going to be an uptick in business there. So what I'm doing next week is I'm going to be holding a meeting at a local establishment in Sturdivant, the Hiawatha Bar and Grill. Uh, the owner is actually in the Foxconn build area and so there's going to be a lot of residents that are um, hopefully going to come so that I can continue to talk about getting rebuild costs done. And I spoke with the relocation company yesterday that is um, handling the acquisition for Mount Pleasant handling the acquisition of these homes and they told me that they thought it was a good idea to get these rebuild costs because it is a replacement cost that they are you know that you should be getting as 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 a resident and so how do you replace a home well you have to rebuild it and then you've got other things that factor into that as well but anything that has to do with you know you're gonna be paying higher property taxes possibly at this new property, or you have more drive time to and from work. Those are all things that, that factor into replacement cost. So if you're, if you're gonna be going through this in another state too, I'm sure this stuff happens all over the place as roads widen, infrastructure happens, big businesses move in. I'm sure Wisconsin is not the only state that this is happening in, but eminent domain is a very, um, there's a lot of things that, that, that go into it, and that's what we're, what we're dealing with here. Um, I, am, I wrote up an offer this morning for a couple that is going potentially be buying some acreage in the town of Raymond. They previously bought a 12-acre parcel on the interstate. They were going to build a home there. It was zoned residential and commercial. It was kind of a weird zoning, but it was all woods and it was a protected natural resource. Well, now, in light of everything that's happening in our area, it's not really a protected resource anymore because we just got confirmation that we can change the zoning from residential to business park industrial. Now we're gonna relist that property for four times the amount that they bought it for. There's just all kinds of crazy stuff going on like this in our area. I'm going to, that's why I need to specifically just talk about real estate and the transitions that are happening here because there's more than enough information to, to, you know, we don't need to combine other things into this. And I really do want to record and document everything that's happening here. So. That is uh, what I'm gonna talk about for today. It's Saturday, and I'm picking up my uh, my little one from Grandma and Grandpa. She had a sleepover. But just all kinds of crazy things going on with real estate. I'm bringing on our new agent on Monday. Perfect timing, because with all of the people that we're working with in the Foxconn build area, we need to find them new properties, whether that be vacant land or existing homes. So there's a lot of real estate stuff that's gonna be happening here. And our real estate company is gonna be growing profoundly because of this. We, we also did purchase lots in a subdivision. And we did this kind of as a defensive strategy because there was another investor that was gonna come in and purchase all of these lots. 
it was an area where we were building spec and model homes and we want to continue to do that so because that's in Mount Pleasant that's kind of our you know where we do a lot of our stuff so we purchased those lots and now we own those lots and we can build on them and sell them and so there's just all kinds of things happening it all came about very very quickly and when things like this happen you as a business real estate agent whatever you are you consider yourself a business how do you react to these types of things things happen so quickly you need to be thinking quickly on your feet you need to be reacting quickly and making smart choices think about the future and base your decisions off of that okay that's gonna do it for today if you are in real estate development new construction please share this with anybody that you think might find this interesting and God bless.